Hello everyone, Konnichiwa. It's Moon from Japan Life Entertainment and thank you very much for coming back to our channel. So today, I'm going to actually watch History of Japan edited by Bill Wards. This video has been played over 60 million since it has been broadcasted like over two years but I never had a chance to watch it. So I'm gonna watch it today and see how it's gonna turn out. Okay, let's hit it. Japan is an island by the sea filled with volcanoes and it's beautiful. <laughs> In the year negative a billion, Japan might not have been here. In the year negative 40,000, it was here, and you could walk to it, and some people yep. walked to it. I say just... Then it got warmer, some icebergs melted, it became an island, and now there's lots of trees, because it's warmer. So now there's people on the island, they're basically sort of hanging out in between the mountains, eating nuts off trees, and using the latest technology, like stones and bowls. Ding dong, it's the outside world, Don't call and they have technology my country, in the future, yeah. like really good metal, and crazy rice farms. Now you can make a lot of rice really, really quickly. That means if you own the farm, you own a lot of food, which is something everybody needs to survive. Mm -hmm. So that makes you king. Rice farming and rice kingdoms spread across the land, all the way to here. The most important kingdoms were here, 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 and here. But this one was the most, most important. Yep. Ruled yeah, by a cool. heavenly super person, or emperor for short. Knock, knock, get the door. It's religion. The new prince wants everyone to try this mm -hmm. hot new religion from Biekt. Please try this religion, he said. No, said everybody. Try it, he said. Mm -hmm. No, said everybody again, quieter this time. And so the religion was put into okay, place. Okay, stop. All the rules he's a pretty famous, and his name is Shotoku Taishi, and he used to be a figure in the Japanese Hanryu Bell that time. Also, there's a myth about him that he could listen to 10 different person at the same time so he can argue back to the people and he can have opinions. That's pretty cool. I think I cannot do that. Okay, anyway, let's get back it came with it. Then the government was taken over by another clique and they made some reforms like making the government govern more and making the government more like China's government which is a government that governs more. Hi China, they said. Hi dipshit, said China. <laughs> dipshit. Can you call something else other than dipshit, said Japan. Like what, said China. How about sunrise land, yep. said Japan. And they stole China's alphabet and wrote a book about themselves. And then Easter they made lots of poetry and art and another book about themselves. Then they stopped moving the capital every time the emperor died and kept it in one place for a while. Right Kyoto. Here. And they conquered the north, finally. Get that squared away. A rich hipster named Kukai is bored with modern Buddhism, visits China, and learns a better version, which is more spiritual. Comes back, reinvents the alphabet, and causes art and literature to be great for a long time. And the royal palace turned into such a dream world of art that they really didn't give a shit about running the country. <laughs> so if you live outside the palace, how are you supposed to protect your shit from criminals? Hire a samurai. Yes, samurai. He Everyone was started samurai. hiring samurai. Rich, important people hired samurai. Poor people yep. who could not afford the body samurai could not hire samurai. The samurai became organized and powerful, more powerful than the government. So they made their own military government here. They let the emperor still be emperor, but the shogun is actually in control. Yep. Breaking news, the Mongols have invaded China. We've invaded China, said the Mongols. Please respect us, or else we might invade you as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, said Japan. So the Mongols came over, ready for war, and yep. died in a tornado. But they tried again, and had a nice time fighting with the Twice. Japanese, but then died in a tornado. Then yep. the emperor overthrows the shogunate, That's and the, the shogunate name overthrows of him back, was moves born. to Kyoto, and makes a new shogunate. And the emperor can still dress like an emperor if he wants, that's fine. <laughs> now there's more art. Like painting with less colors, collaborative poetry, plays, monkey fun, tea parties, gardening, architecture, flowers. It's time for who's going to be the next shogun. Usually it's the shogun's kid, but the shogun doesn't have a kid. So he tries to get his brother to quit being a monk and be the next shogun. He says okay, but then the shogun has a kid. So now who's it gonna be? Vote now on your phones. And everyone voted so hard that the palace caught on fire and burned down. The shogun actually didn't care. He was off somewhere doing poetry. And the whole country <laughs> broke into pieces. Everyone is fighting yep. with each other for local power. And it's anybody's game. Knock, knock. It's Europe. No, they're not here to take over. They just want to sell some shit. Like clocks. And guns. And Jesus. So that's cool. But everyone's still fighting each other for control. Now with guns. And wouldn't it be nice to control the capital? Which right now is puppets with no one controlling them. This clan is ready to make a run for it. But first, they have to trample this smaller clan, which is in the way. Surprise, the smaller clan wins, and the leader of that clan yep. steals the idea of well, invading the capital and invades the capital. And it goes very well. He's about okay, halfway stop. through conquering Japan when someone who works for him. Oda Nobunaga was very famous in the time of this era because he was actually on a smaller territory than other uh, shoguns or samurais. But the, the reason why he got empowered so much was he was using the guns. That was the highest technology at that time using the wars because people are just using the swords or like even you know, bows and spears and stuff like that. It's very like uh, all the time. But the guns, you have like a longer distance and have like 
it's a lethal weapon. So that's why he got empowered so much with like a smaller military. And he was assassinated by his subordinate named uh, Akechi Mitsuhide. The place where he died is still remaining in Kyoto. That's another fun trip to go there too if you're interested. Okay, let's get back. Kills him, and then someone else who works for him kills them, and that guy finishes mm -hmm. conquering Japan. Yep. And then he confiscated the his swords and made some rules. And now I'm going to invade Korea, and then hopefully China. He said, and failed, and also died. But mm -hmm. before he died, he told these five guys to take care of his five-year-old son until he's old enough to be the next ruler of Japan. Yep. And the five guys said, Yeah, right. It's not going to be this kid. It's going to be one of us because we're grown-ups. Mm -hmm. And it's probably going to be this guy who happens to be way more rich and powerful than the others. A lot of people support him, but a lot of people support not supporting him. They have a fight, and yep. he wins, and starts a new government okay. right here. Stop. And he's so the battle of Sekigahara, the conflict between Toyotomi and the Tokugawa was very significant in Japanese history. Because after the battle, Tokugawa clan took over Toyotomi administration, and he built the Edo period that lasted over 300 years in Japanese history. During that period, the administration has built so much things like traditional Japanese arts, like kabuki, in the food culture, sushi, and the poetry and everything that are still remaining today. That's why, because it is very important. Okay, let's get back. Still lets the emperor dress like an emperor and have very nice things. But don't get confused. This is the new government, and they are yep. very strict. So strict. Yeah, close very the strict. No one can leave. And close no one the can nation. Come in, except for the Dutch, if they want to buy and sell mm -hmm. shit. But they have to do it right here. Yep. Now that the entire country okay, was not stop. at war with itself, the popular. So Tokugawa administration is very strict. Like in this video, they closed the nation hall. In that time, there's so many uh, members of Christians and. Tokugawa administration didn't like that much, so trying to interrogate these members, just like in witch hunt in Europe, the method that they took was uh, they brought the suspicious members to the public and convinced them to step on the Virgin Mary or uh, Jesus Christ's printing and okay, step on it. And you know, if you're true believers, you won't do that. Like, no, I can't do that because that's what I believe in. So, okay, you're Christians. I'm gonna arrest you like criminals and give uh, like heavy punishments. And uh, there are like movie about it. Oh yeah, name is uh, Silence. It is another tip to learn Japanese history as well. So I recommend watching it. Okay, let's get back. Population increased a lot. Business increased, schools were built, roads mm -hmm. were built, everyone learned to read, books were published, there was poetry, plays, sexy times, sexy times, people that. started to study <laughs> European science from books they bought from the Dutch. We're talking geography, skeletons, physics, chemistry, astronomy, and maybe even electricity. Mm -hmm. Over time, the economic and cultural prosperity began to gradually slow down. Yep. Oh, here comes the United, United States. States. With huge boats, yep. with guns, terrifying. Guns. Open the country. Stop Navy Admiral Matthew Perry. States. There was really nothing they could do, so they signed a contract that lets yep. the United States, Britain, and Russia visit Japan anytime they want. Choshu and Satsuma hated this. Yep. That sucks, they said. This sucks. And with almost very little outside help, because they overthrew the shogunate. They somehow made the emperor, the emperor again and moved him to Edo, which they renamed Eastern Capital. They made a new mm -hmm. government, okay. which was a lot more Western. Mm -hmm. They made a new constitution that was pretty Western, and a military that was pretty Western. Yeah. And do you know what else is Western? That's right, it's conquering stuff. So what can we conquer? Korea. They conquer Korea, Korea taking it from nations. its previous owner, China, and then go a little bit further. And Russia no. rushes in out of nowhere and says, Stop, no, you can't take that. We were going to build a railroad through here to try to get some warm water. And Russia warm builds water. their railroad, supervised by a shit ton of soldiers. And then when the railroad was done, they downgraded to a fuck ton. Did I say downgrade? Mm. I meant upgrade. And Japan says, Can you maybe chill? And Russia says, How about maybe you chill? Japan mm. is kind of scared of Russia. You'll never guess who's also kind of scared of Russia. Great Britain. So mm. Japan and Great Britain make an alliance together so yep. they can be a little less scared of Russia. Okay, stop. Feeling confident. Actually, there is a virus series behind. Here before the alliance has been treated, there was Japanese original beef stew was made and the name is Nikujaga. 
Japanese official Togo Heihachiro has studied abroad in Great Britain and he liked British beef stew so much and he was so obsessed and uh, he wanted to bring back that recipe to Japan. However, Japan didn't have like enough seasonings that time to make that original recipe. So they used the soy sauce and the sugar to look like real uh, beef stew, but it didn't work out very well. I'm so glad I could do talk to it. Okay, let's get back Japan goes to war against Russia just for a moment and then they both get tired and stop. It's time for World War One. Mm. The world is about to have a war because it's the 1900s and weapons are getting crazy yeah. and all these empires are excited to try them out on each other. Meanwhile, Japan has been enjoying conquering stuff and wants more. Mm. And the next thing on their list is this part of China and lots of tiny islands. All that stuff belongs to Germany, which just had war declared on it by Britain because Britain was friends yeah. with Belgium, which was being trespassed by Germany in order to get to France to kick France's ass because France is friends with Russia, who was getting Everybody ready to kick Austria's it. ass because Every Austria was getting ready to kick Europe Serbia's ass because someone from Serbia shot the leader of Austria's ass. Yep. Or actually shot him in the head. And Britain is currently friends with Japan, so you know what that means. Duh, Japan should take the islands. Which they wanted to do anyway, so they called Britain on the telly to sort of let them know. And then they did it. And they also helped Britain a little here and there with some errands and stuff. Now the war is over, and congratulations Japan, you technically fought in the war, which means you get to sit at the negotiating table with the big dudes, where they decided who owns what. And yes, Japan gets to keep all that shit they stole from Germany. You also get to join the post-war mega alliance, the League of Nations, whose mission statement is to try not to take over the world. The Great Depression is bad, yeah, great Japan's depression. economy is now crappy, but the military is doing just fine, and it invades Manchuria. And the League of Nations is like, No, don't do that. If you're in the League of Nations, you're not supposed to take over the world. And Japan said, How about I do anyway? And Japan invaded more and more and more and more of China, and was planning to invade the entire east. You've got mail. It's from Germany, the new leader of Germany. He has a cool mustache, yeah, and he's trying to take over the world and needs friends. This also got forwarded to Italy. They all decided to be friends because they had so much in common. It's time for World War II. Germany yeah. is invading the neighbors. Then they invade the neighbors' neighbors. Then the neighbors' neighbors' neighbors, who happened to be Britain, said, Holy shit. And the mm -hmm. United States started helping Britain because they are good friends. And started not helping Japan because they're friends and our friends are not friends. Plus they're planning on invading the entire ocean. The United States is also working on a large, very huge bomb. Bigger than yeah, any other bomb bombs. ever. Just in case. But they still haven't joined the war. War looks bad on TV, and the United States is really starting to care about their image. But then Japan spits on them in Hawaii and challenges them to yeah, war. And terrible. they say yes. And then Germany, as a symbol of friendship, declares war on the United States also. So the United States goes to war in Europe, and they help the gang chase Germany back into Germany. And they also start chasing Japan back into Japan. And they haven't used the bomb yet and are curious to see if it works. So they drop it on Japan. They actually drop two. United States installed a new government okay, inspired by the United States government. Dropping atomic bomb was one of the worst disasters happening in the history of humankind. I hope it won't happen and never and ever. And also Manhattan Project in which the US government was deciding which cities they're trying to drop it in Japan and according to the report Kyoto was one of the nominations that time but the Kyoto was part of Asia remaining like historical buildings and a lot of like sightseeing places lasting over like thousand years so that's why the United States didn't drop it let's get back by the United States government with just the right ingredients for a post-war economic miracle and Japan starts making TVs, VCRs, mm. automobiles, and camcorders yep. as fast as they can and also better than everybody else. Mm. They get rich and the economy goes wild and then the miracle wears off but everything's still pretty yep. cool I guess. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Okay, that's the end. So it was my first time watching this clip but I strongly feel that this is a very great information describing about Japanese history. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel too. See you soon. Bye bye.